Hello and welcome back to Green Valley Zoo, episode four. Uh, in this episode, I'm building a food court. And this is something that you will find in every good zoo or wildlife park. There will be at least one, if not two or three of these places where you have a large central food shop whether it's you know a single restaurant or, or in this case three or four different smaller um, smaller food outlets um, surrounded by a large seating area um, so what I wanted to do was was have the shops in the middle um, and the the seating area in a large square around the outside uh, it took me a little bit of work to get the path uh, figured out. Um, ultimately, the path will be covered up. Um, I, I use my my usual technique where I sink some ceiling into the ground as a new pathway, um, which you'll see later on. Um, but I wanted the basics, just you know, some simple food and drink and and a, you know some toilets in the middle here. Um, and I'll be honest, I went into this not really knowing what sort of building I was going to make. Um, Ideally, I wanted it to be round, but round buildings are very hard to do in this game when you've got the food uh, in them because obviously the food uh, places are square, uh, which doesn't lend itself to a round building. But I thought, you know, have the round edges and, and the square sides, um, was a, it's a nice shape. So that's what I went with. And I found this sandstone, um, which I thought looked very nice. It was a a stone that I hadn't used in the zoo yet and I, I thought you know it, it, this 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 is the sort of building that they would have put a bit of extra money into um, uh, obviously it's something that needs to last it's uh, it's it's gonna get a bit of wear and tear it's gonna have the public around it all the time um, and I, th I couldn't quite work out what to do with the uh, the roof here I wanted some sort of second layer but there was no real round roof that lent itself to to that it just the this this one just it just wasn't suitable at all um so in the end i think uh, i i went for a an arched roof which was fine um i was happy with how it turned out in the end um and again i just put, i went with the, the the little technique at the bottom there you got the sandstone but then you have a layer of limestone this is it's something that I've seen somewhere before and I've, I've liked the look of it. It doesn't really serve any purpose, but it, it just looks nice to have that ring of a different colored stone um, between the walls and the roof. Um, so I'll, I'll probably use that technique quite a lot because I like the look of it. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward building really. But again, with, with these buildings, it's not so much what you do with the building, um, even though I do put a few little details on it now, it's really what you do around the building that makes all the difference. Um, so here you see just, um, I just wanted that, in, give that impression that there was some sort of upstairs inside the building. A couple of small details around the windows because I thought they looked a bit plain and these stone pieces are, are brilliant. Um, when you sink them in behind the window, it, it just makes them look a little bit fancier, doesn't it? It's it's, it's such a simple thing, but it, it you know it's a little detail that I, I like to do when I can. Um, I also I think just extended the roof over these windows because they, they stood out a little bit too much. These uh, these fancy windows, so I. Um, I believe I just moved the roof tiles uh, one segment out at some point just to cover up the top. Uh, oh yes, here we go. Um, just thought it looked a bit better like that. Um, so yeah, I was quite quite happy with that in the end. Um, and something that I do, I actually lost the footage of me doing it, uh, but a little bit later on you'll see that I sunk signs into the floor all around this area and it's something that I've seen somewhere again I can't remember where um, but I saw it somewhere where they had painted uh, animal symbols and things onto the floor 
um, you know, it's a bit of fun for the kids. Basically, they, you know, as they're walking along, they they're walking over the top of pictures of monkeys and things. Um, and you'll see that I do the same here later on. Um, and I think it, it comes across quite nice because, of course, these these areas in zoos they're basically full of children, and um, that's what these food courts are for. Really, it's for people to gather and and eat their lunch. And of course, when you've got kids eating lunch, they don't want to sit down and, and eat their lunch, do they? They want to run around. They're at a zoo. They're excited. They're having a day out. They, you know, they're very hard to, to control. And so giving them little entertainment things, little play areas or, uh, you know, things to keep their their minds occupied is, is all part of the job for these zoos. They have to entertain the kids. Um, wasn't happy with the this wood that I put on here. I liked the glass over the top um, but I thought the wood just didn't match so I, I wanted some sort of sandstone pillar so I found this one I thought it maybe just a tiny bit over the top but it was really the only choice that I had um, so I went with it in the end just sunk it into the ground a little bit um, it, it served its purpose um, and then I did have a lot of trouble with the uh, the cross beam trying to find one that I could use and then color trying to find the right color is is very tricky um, I do wish on these um, these pillars and, and the walls and things when they are a particular color I really wish you could select that color so that the colorable items could match exactly um, but as far as I know you can't do that maybe you can maybe I'm being an idiot I don't know um, but anyway, I got I got it close enough in the end, and then again, just a bit of copy and paste around there. Um, I do like the glass. I love the contrast of glass and stone. It's something that you see on on many buildings around the world, and and I do think it, it just works. It just it's you know they're completely opposite materials, but but it ultimately um, contrasting materials work very well together. Um, so it's a bit like colours, you know, the opposite colours work very well together um, you know black and white blue and yellow that sort of thing um, it's, it's something to do with how our brains work basically they 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 like seeing opposites together and next to each other because um, they contrast whereas if you get two colors that are very similar next to each other your mind sort of says oh one of them's faded or one of them's too dark or or you know that sort of thing so it's um yeah it's a, it's a psychological thing when you have opposites next to each other so in this case i think the glass next to the sandstone actually worked very nicely it's almost like they've they've built a modern glass addition to an old sandstone building um so yeah i was happy with that obviously around the outside here i wanted to put some flower beds in um because that's that's what I do <laughs> I put flowers everywhere that I can in real life and in the game um, so I just wanted again just to use the sandstone and uh, and create these little raised areas here um, again I think the footage of me actually planting this up um, I lost unfortunately but um, you will see what I, I do in there in a minute uh, it took me a lot of fiddling to get this just just how I wanted it to, to line all of these uh, little bits and pieces up and then I had this awful idea of putting a tower on top of the building um, I put it up there and I left it for about 15 minutes uh, and then I looked at it again and realized that it was one of the worst ideas I've ever had in my life so that quickly disappears um, I always do this with these uh, these vendor places I always put some sort of um, extra shelf either in front or actually covering up the um, the indoor shelf um, I, I just think they look too plain otherwise um, so in this case I just I just wanted the uh, the outside um, just to have that little bit extra it's where people would lean you know people love leaning um, so you know you've got you've got to provide them somewhere to, to lean or to put down their the handbags wallets you know food and drink that they've already bought elsewhere that sort of thing so um, just some simple decoration again I just thought it looked a bit plain obviously this area isn't going to be covered with foliage so I, I wanted it to look like um, they would have put a little bit of extra effort in just a, a few small details and that really is all it needs um, obviously the walls around the rest of the building are going to be covered with foliage um, but in here they're not so um, just yeah 
just some simple decoration oh and the toilet I always have issues with these toilets they're they're very tricky little buildings to try and cover up and, and look good luckily in this case this uh, this sandstone was just about the right width to cover this middle beam of the toilet um, but then trying to use them to, to cover up all the inside bits um, it's it's very time consuming I probably should have cut all of this out of the video to be honest because it's not the most exciting thing for you to watch um, me you know constructing a toilet it's not thrilling is it but uh, maybe next time I will cut this out um, but yeah it's just I just wish you could I wish there was an option where you could uh, you could change the coloring or something of these uh, the insides of these toilets it's, it's just such a pain having to go in here like this and and cover up the walls every time you, you create a toilet it's uh, it's very boring the, the other technique that you can use obviously is by completely covering the front and then putting a fake door on it um, which is something that I will without a doubt do a lot more because this is so boring and time-consuming it's it's not why I play this game I you know I, I want to be creative and all I'm doing here is, is covering up ugly graphics um, and and again this this, I, 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 this middle area is a pain because it's so thin it's it's hard to find an, an appropriate piece of um, of rock that can cover it I didn't want to use just the art shapes because they're too plain I wanted it to be textured uh, and so I just obviously use the uh, the back side of these pillar pieces um, and it looks fine it, it's not great but it, it you know it, it does the job but it's it's just time consuming and fiddly and boring and it's it's hard to click on the right pieces a lot of the time you end up selecting the toilet instead of the the pieces uh, there we go so I, I did cut some out at the end and, and here you can see I've moved on quite a way so I've put quite a lot of foliage around the building and as you can see I've put the floor down and I've sunk signs into the floor so you'll see all the animals um, scattered all over the floor completely random um, just brightens the area up like I say it entertains the kids put the benches down as well so you you know the, the path doesn't cover all, all of it but um, most of it and then I, I, I had to come up with something to um, to cover up this connecting piece between the upstairs path and the downstairs so again sandstone I wanted it to all to match very simple um, I do detail this uh, which I will show you in the real-time segment of the video um, but I it doesn't need to be too fancy this um, the fancy bit is the building that's that's what they would have put the time and the money into in this zoo they, they, they you know a simple wall like this would just be a retaining wall simple as that um, I do put a, a bit of fencing on it just to stop people climbing on it um, but uh, it, it really wouldn't be too over the top it, it is just a barrier from one area to the next um, obviously a little area at the end here I just thought well let's just make this into another little flower bed um, so that people don't walk across it and it, it's a bit tricky when you end up with these little areas so so generally you just turn them into flower beds it's the easiest thing to do um, just put a, a, a simple border down this side obviously the other side has already got the, the border made with nice straight edges so it's, it just lends itself really to uh, to a flower bed and, and you can sort of continue the theming of the uh, the flowers that I've put around the building links the whole area together um, just looks really nice uh, well I hope it does anyway um, so we are coming to the end of the time lapse now um, just a, a, a little bit of uh, planting to put in here and uh, I did do quite a lot more detailing um, outside of this time lapse so I will show you that in just a minute um, uh, until then uh, enjoy the rest of the time lapse there's only about 30 seconds I think to go so I will see you again in a minute in the real time
and here we are back in the real time at the food court uh, and the first thing you'll notice here is that I have added some railings in uh, along the top here just to stop people running on there and injuring themselves as humans tend to do whenever there's a wall we like to climb on it don't we um, so hopefully that uh, that will stop them it is, I wasn't entirely happy with the uh, the metal look but actually the more I look at it the more I think it's um, it is the sort of railing that they would have along there it's uh, it's clearly a, a safety railing rather than something that looks aesthetically pleasing um, so yes I'm quite happy with that uh, and as we move in here I've added some more of my typically overgrown flower pots um, just three of those in the corners I uh, had to maneuver the paths a little bit underneath and this one over here I've had to put some bins inside it uh, to stop people walking over it unfortunately it does mean that people will throw their rubbish into it instead but I, um, I couldn't really get away with that because this path here is quite wide it goes right underneath these slabs here um, so that was the only way I could do that um, but that's fine it'll uh, it looks good and it will work uh, these uh, these things that I've sunk into the floor here didn't really get a good look at them on the time lapse um, but I think they're fantastic these things I really do and, and I think sinking them into the floor works nicely in an area like this uh, these silver ones I had to put each of them on top of a leaf because of the the coloring so obviously they didn't stand out but I think they work quite nicely like that with the uh, the leaf underneath them um, this little flower bed here um, one thing I put in here which I, I really love doing in this game the fact that you can sink stuff into the ground this is a date palm so it's a tree and all I've done is just sink it down so you can't see the stem and it looks like an entirely different plant um, and, and that, that's the joy of this game that's the, the brilliant thing about the foliage in this game is that you can come up with all these creative ways of using things to, to, to make a whole new plant that is a completely different plant to what it would look like if it was um, put in like a tree um, and it works fantastically so yeah I like experimenting with things like that and uh, I plan on doing a lot more uh, of that sort of thing later on um, along the edge here I wasn't too sure what to do with this wall it was quite blank I wanted something on it um, but I didn't want it to look crowded um, I've got a lot of foliage in here um, I didn't want to just for the sake of it just fill it with some sort of um, sort of hanging baskets and things because um, I thought in real life this is going to be quite a busy area it's going to be full of families with kids you wouldn't want too many plants because the kids would be up here pulling on stuff um, you know the, the zookeepers would have to be in there maintaining it while kids were running around so that's not going to be a good idea but I thought these education things are perfect um, uh, they look nice, they look smart, they're educational, uh, it's something for the kids to read while their parents are sitting at the benches having their lunch. Um, so yeah, I was quite uh, quite happy to just put some of those along the wall there. Um, the foliage in the middle, I think, uh, didn't, probably didn't get a good look. Oh, look at that, that's terrible. Let's just move that back in while I'm uh, thinking about it, because that looks awful. There we go. Um, yeah, again, the foliage. Um, I love these grasses. They don't go particularly well with the palms, um, but I wanted to cover these these walls up a bit. Um, and uh, the problem with a lot of the palms is they're too wide. I wanted something tall and thin, um, so these grasses work well. And again, with this this one here, you can see that grass there. I've just raised it, so it's it's a grass on top of a grass. Um, you got I can't highlight it, but there's one at the bottom, and then I've just copied it and dragged it up, uh, and so you end up with a grass which is much taller. Um, again it's a very simple technique but if you don't think about using these things in uh, these particular ways and until somebody points it out to you um, you won't necessarily think about it and obviously you know again here it's exactly the same grass there um, you just put it down into the ground and it creates a lovely two layered effect um, very simple um, but it's very effective as well um, I really like it and I, I, I like how this area turned out I was very tempted to put some sort of a, um, a fence around it I think maybe in real life it would have some sort of fencing but because of the path system in the game I've had to connect lots of pathways under here um, it's it's not all one big grid um, there are lots of gaps along here and so it just wasn't 
feasible to put fencing down but I find it works just just fine like that um, you know people will, would walk around here and they're only going to go on here if they're going to go and uh, and get some food or sit down um, so yeah I, I was very happy and I was very happy with the building in the end actually as well the sandstone I think works works nicely um, so yeah that's all I've got to say about that really um, yeah let me know what you think um, whether you like my ideas and that is going to be it for this episode uh, so thank you very much again for watching and listening to me waffle on um, I hope you've uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making it and I will see you next time thank you very much bye for now